modern Australian history is littered with um, promises that have been made by, by governments and by uh, Australia to its first peoples and which have been broken. And the, the, the anguish, the sense of disappointment, the faltering progress towards reconciliation, greater awareness and an understanding of the issue, but still tremendous disadvantage, really led to a very significant consultation process with First Nations people to draft a statement which would be delivered to the people of Australia and to the Parliament for consideration. And that's the Uluru Statement from the Heart. Uh, done in 2017, it's poetic, it's powerful, it's important, and it's a call to Australia and to Australia's leaders that they shouldn't ignore. Now, at the time, uh, it was ignored to some extent or deferred uh, by Malcolm Turnbull when he was a Conservative Prime Minister, but it should not be um, obscured, it should not be let, let go. And we wanted to renew, um, as it were, the focus on the statement we think the things in the statement from the heart, including a voice to parliament, constitutional recognition, truth telling, and potentially a treaty at the end of the day, are absolutely crucial bedrock things that have to happen for Australia to be a united nation. So on, the, on that sense, um, what that really means is that the Uluru Statement from the Heart is the legitimate aspiration of First Nations people in Australia to be heard by the colonial country that came here and took their land, took their children and completely altered and fractured their way of life. So we got together and had a songwriting session about a year ago at my place and it turned out that of the 25, 26 songs that we brought in together, um, at least seven or eight of them were on the topic of the statement from the heart, the Uluru statement from the heart, or reconciliation and justice generally. And so initially those songs were going to appear together on this maybe double album, we weren't sure. And then it was decided that perhaps we could make a special project honouring the Uluru statement from the heart and that's what we went about doing. So those songs actually became a priority when we came to record with our longtime producer Warren Livesey who came from Canada and spent a couple of months with us in pre-production and recording the album in Sydney before last Christmas. And they were the songs that took longer because, as you can imagine, we had all of our First Nations collaborators had to come in and the ones that couldn't had to send in our parts from Alice Springs, from Darwin, Darwin, wherever they were. So that took a lot longer and, and certainly working with Warren was fantastic on so many levels, but one of the great things with working with Warren, that he was so patient in slotting in our collaborators into parts of the songs. Um, and so uh, that really made it work. The order of statement is important. It's, you know, Makarada, which means coming together after a struggle. I mean, it says it all really. It's the struggle was, you know, it was a civil war really when. Um, the white fellas came here. It's never really been recognised, not even in the school books. Still, I'm pretty sure. You know, I don't think it has been recognised. So, and this is really an attempt to include everybody in this conversation about what happened and and truth telling. You know, which is the the concept of sort of just sitting around. I think it came from when um, you know uh, in South South Africa actually where that tribunal came together to sort of bring people in from who were for apartheid and they're all, everyone was there together and was telling the truth about what happened. It's a little bit like that. It's sort of like, well, let's just acknowledge what happened. We don't have to go into some weird um, finger-pointing exercise here. Let's just tell the truth about what happened and, um, and, and bring people along for that conversation. And the song Come On Down, I think, is very much... Um, about that subject matter. It's like, well, let's all sit around the campfire and talk about it, you know, um, uh, the way that fires can bring people together sitting in a, in a circle talking. It seemed to be pretty much about the inclusiveness that's needed. And, and the Macarada, it's really fitted the Macarada thing, that song, in a way. It didn't really in the beginning, but by the, when we put it in with those other songs that sort of gained the power that it needed, it was, I think politically, though, um, there needs to be a voice in politically for, for 
the black fellas in the house. You know, it just has to has to come. Those people are there. They have thoughts. They have values. They have feelings. They um, and they have something to say that could be. It, it was really important and and positive as well. It isn't all about you know give give me this or give me that. It's like this is what happened. This is our voice. This is our people. We're here to contribute as well, and that's what it's saying. You know, we're let's do all this stuff together. And that you could say on one hand, well, that's just pie in the sky, um, just you know, um, goodbye, our kind of stuff, or you know, but it's not because it's, you know, things move forward. Things, you know, generations change. You know, I sometimes think, you know, when Rupert Murdoch dro- drops off the perch, well, someone else will come and take his place, to sort of to serve the, the interests of the rich. Um, but um, things change over time and young people are getting more of their hands on the levers of power, getting to understand it more. I really believe that. It's, um, the same things will keep happening over again and I'm really frustrated sometimes about the lack of progress. But uh, it, um, if men at all can be part of that conversation, great. You know, we're... We're contributing by just letting people talk, and, and you know we're going to hey, here's the message to you talking to that now, and here's the microphone you talking to that. Um, it's a wonderful thing that for a band to do. It's not that not normal, you know. It's not you know bebop a luba or you know baby baby baby. You know what we go on about. It's much more about people and about inclusion and about uh, the world really as it is and. Um, and just show, you know, holding up a mirror to that, that's all Minot Oswald is, I think. So.